Hello, moon babies. It's Molly. How are you? Welcome to this little cozy autumn vlog. In this video, I wanted to invite you into the studio to show you a little bit of what I've been up to and share a little autumn magic with you. I think one of my favorite parts about this time of year is the color palette. The combination of that poppy, zappy gold and yellow with purples and fuchsia and violets just really makes my heart explode. And I've been having lots of fun taking every opportunity I can to capture it. I've also been playing lots with ancestral handicrafts. This past year and a half, I've really been interested in researching some of my ancestry and ways that I might be able to incorporate that in my witchcraft. And handicrafts have been a big part of that. So to celebrate the equinox, I chose to take a crack at a wheat weaving. <laughs> And it was difficult, which I anticipated. It's absolutely a skill, something that requires practice, <laughs> but I wanted to give it a shot. I found it to be very meditative and I love that my kitchen smelled like a pet store, <laughs> but I'm very much looking forward to practicing practicing, getting better, connecting to my magic in a different way. And I'm definitely going to be making lots of wheat weaving ornaments for Yule this year. I'd love to know in the comments if there's something that you're experimenting with right now in your art or your magic. There have been lots of requests for an altar tour. So I thought I could share that with you today as part of this little autumnal vlog, give you a little peek about what's going on in my temple room and in my altar space. So I've recently turned it over for the new season. So I'll give you a closer look here. We have the Artemis statue as usual, and she is wearing, this is a pendant that was one of my grandpa's cufflinks. That was a gift given to me by my mother. She had a set of his cufflinks turned into a necklace for my sister and I. This is a little painted Victorian dish. It's got some pine cones on it. I thought it went nicely with sort of the foresty motif that usually goes on on this altar. This is just a really fabulous paperweight that I found at a thrift store. <laughs> And these, I don't normally purchase items, uh, new items for my altar, but these chicken feet candlesticks <laughs> were screaming my name. I picked them up at Target. <laughs> I picked up a set from my mom too. There's lots of smoky quartz on the altar for this season. This is a little black Madonna that I've painted. She's sitting in a dish, a ceramic dish that I made many years ago. There's some earth from my property in there as well as a geode and some painted acorns. This doesn't look very fancy anymore because I've been using it, but it is an incense wand and it smells delicious. And this is my little mushroom homage. I'm really feeling inspired by fungi right now. So I wanted to include those. Those are some vintage glass ornaments from my collection, as well as a Diana tie clip that I thought was pretty interesting. And this is a hunk of smoky quartz from a cave trip that we took late in the summer. 
And up here, I have the light. This is the light that I set in the morning. This is a candy dish filled with some pink salt. And you can see there are some quartz points and smoky quartz points in there. I wanted a little crystal garden. No, I don't know why. I just thought it would be fun. <laughs> some more acorns there. I decorated with some of these lovely textural wheat stalks and these kind of crepe paper ruby sunflowers and up here i'll give you a closer look this is a piece of beadwork that i acquired from a local artist on a recent trip and i absolutely love her she just jumped off the wall at me i knew exactly where she would live i'm really enjoying that and down back to Kind of the main working part of the altar this is another ceramic bowl i made it's filled with water that i use for anointing i've brought my red lady back out it's been kind of a long time since she's been on the main altar she's usually tucked into a shrine in this room and this i'm very excited to tell you about this um, on top here is just a little ammonite little rainbowy ammonite i've been having dreams about ammonite so i thought it would be appropriate to put one on the altar. But these are the Art Witch Oracle cards. I've finished creating an Oracle deck for you. And it is a set of 26 cards. They all have a different mixed media art magic inspired image on them. I'm so excited to finally be able to bring these to you. They're going to be available uh, on my shop. November 1st. So folk on the mailing list get updates uh, on shop updates and courses and anything else fun we have going on. These are the little bags. I'm busy making all of the bags and the little handbound books that will accompany these. So if you're looking for uh, art witch updates or just updates of any kind, you can pop on over to the mailing list and receive some love notes. I'll leave a link in the description bar for you. We have some more turkey feathers from my folks yard and the infamous black cat oil. <laughs> I included a recipe for that in a Halloween zine last year. And this little bowl here, this little wooden bowl is my Baba Yaga homage for the season. This is a little chicky from a uh, Matryoshka doll that I've popped in there. I'm really having fun with that but this is the current autumnal altar setup i hope you enjoyed taking a peek really hope that you enjoyed this little studio peek and altar tour. I hope that it inspires some magic in your day, moon babies. I want to thank you so much for being here and for watching. And a special thanks to my patrons for making this video possible. And until we speak again, moon babies, I'm sending you all of the blessings of the season. Which on, which boldly, and be well, my friends. Bye for now.